we're Look gonna at dig. See it. Yeah. I might have a digging tool maybe in my pocket, but it should it should be right there if it fell right over. Is this, that it? Oh my goodness, I feel it. This is great right here. So we found the top. Look how deep it is, Robert. So that's 25 years of or more of oh my goodness. soil that's fallen on top of it. Look. Oh my goodness, this Can is you get it incredible. Out? Yeah. That's it. I got it. I got it now, Robert. Oh yeah. Look at this unearthed for the first time in so long. This is incredible right here. You got a brush? Yes, I do. Hey everybody, this is the other Robert. I'm back for the third, might have been the third or fourth time. Back to this cemetery here. I'm gonna show y'all a cemetery, you see it over there. This is the one that uh, I had to stop because there's a clause in my contract where I have to stop at a certain amount of uh, graves being found per video and you know how Robert Wright is when he uh when he hears about the contract it, uh, what 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 the? where have you what? brought me to you brought me down to nat country what are you doing here you brought me down to nat country man there's nats around it what, what are we even doing here well give we're trying to camera. straighten out a contract we're trying to give straighten me, out give me that camera back so as in the contract as we said in the contract you you filmed too many graves out here Per video. Per video. That's, That's why right. if I stop every 30 minutes of starting the video. I hate Nats. Nats. <laughs> I hate Nats. I love them. Protein. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Get. Anyway, if I stop, then I can start a new video. Start and new technically, video. I can keep doing it. <laughs> I guess. Well, I don't even see a cemetery. Where have you, where okay. have you brought me to? Well, you said this is New Hope Cemetery? Yeah. We have you done film New Hope? We filmed New Hope in Harris County. This is the other New Hope with the other Robert. The other New Hope with the other Robert. Okay. Well, I still yeah. I don't even see the cemetery. How many of these woods we got to go through? It's here. It's here. It's right over here, and it's right across the road too. All right, let's go find it. Okay. Hey, wait up for me. Hold on a second. What's You're up? Leaving me again. Come on, man. I'm gonna show you where it's at. Right down here. On the left. See that big tree? There's it. Amazing tree right there. Yeah. So that's one of the things that caught my eye. The really the first thing that caught my eye was a mark. There it is. Right there, look. I see, see it. That tall stone right there. This is absolutely incredible. When we were coming down this road, and you can see the change in the landscape from of course there's farmers' fields all around here. Then it comes down and the trees just change right here around the cemetery. We've got big magnolia trees in there, of course, this big oak tree here really amazing place uh, and I saw the markers too so this is actually really cool I can't wait to I get saw them there. first you saw them first I'll give you that are there any briars in this cemetery because all I hear you complaining about on all these videos is briars the briars are, look at look at that thicket right there there you go so you've already filmed all of this. Yeah, we came. Me. This is what we thought. We first videoed it. We okay. saw that earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to watch those videos. I haven't seen them yet, but you got it. And we saw that mess right there, and we could just swallow a nap for real. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look. <laughs> that's the thick part that I went around. So okay. that's maybe where we're going to go. For it. And I'm already seeing something right now. Just caught my eye. What is that? I know what I wanted to do while I had you here. We're going to turn that back over. I don't over. think we ever picked. Did we ever do this one? Oh, we didn't. Oh, yeah. Hand me the new flashlight. The new flashlight? Yeah, the, the super duper flashlight. <sighs> I left it in the car. You wanted to drive. I left it in my car. You got a flashlight, though. Yeah, mine came from. What was that? Yeah, That's a loud storm. little bird. Okay, we might have already done this one. You know what? But look at this. Hey, get this. Come around this way and get this here. This is the name of the stone masons. Can you oh, see cool. that? It's, uh, yeah, this is J. Artrope. Um, Artope. Artope. Uh, so it's John Artope. Um, looks like it says agent. Uh, it's also see J. Artope and son. Um, so I guess different eras. Uh, this is 18. Where's the flashlight at? Uh, I think it's dead. 
you the flashlight. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Super duper flashlight. Oh, right. There we go. Yeah, 1875. He is not dead, but sleepeth. Since 1875, who is it? You said you might have already filmed this one? I just thought of something. What? Look at that name again. Okay. What was the name of Rosalind Carter's mother's? Oh, Murray's. Murray's. Is that the same name? That is. The same name. That is. In what time period? 1800s to 1875. And we're in, we're not in the same county, but we're within, what do you say, 20 miles? Yeah, something like that. Of Plains? Less than 20 miles of Plains. Yeah. No, well, look right behind you. There's another Murray right there. That's right. So I guess what we need to do, or someone needs to do, maybe one of our viewers can can uh, do a little research for us. Cause I can't research anymore because I don't have a laptop. My laptop's at the uh, bird farm being used. Hopefully you're using a, doing a good job with it, right? Yeah, that's right. It make, oh man, look at that detail on that stone. Yeah, is that not the Oh, that stuff? is amazing. And this would be an easy cleanup yeah. too if we had that chemical here. Oh, my wife. My wife. It's amazing. Look, look back down here yeah. at the work and then the work right there. Yeah. That is amazing. Georgian. Georgian E, wife of W.D. Murray. And you, you've already filmed this I've one, right? I've already done this Okay, one. so. Just, I just remembered that name is the same name from the uh, uh, Rosalind Carter's mother's side of the family. That's right. Well, let's look at what you haven't seen yet. Okay, let's go. So, anyway, <laughs> we've already <laughs> looked at everything here, and then that big mess right there, since that uh, Magnolia Springs <laughs> event, I ain't going into Briars anymore. Right. So I went around there. My question is, do you think there's some people laid to rest right in this area? And what did uh, David Mitchell always tell us? Multi whatever you find, multiply three times yeah, right exactly so there's there's got to be someone in there so we want to yeah. climb up in there with our clippers you see you got your those are my snake boots those are my snake boots no they're not, they're, they're, those are they're my not. those are my snake boots no i i borrowed them from you i got them out of the back of the comet yeah that's where i left my walking stick those, too in the back seat of the comet I've, I've been looking for those all right let's go see if there's okay. anything in here Got my snake boots. Man, it's thick. So what do you see? And so this is the point where we start to hear the other Robert complain about briars again. You know what though? I got on my heavy duty boots now, so I'm just gonna go out and talk to these things. Alright, so while the other Robert investigates through here, I'm gonna walk around and see if I see anything else out here on this side of the cemetery. Briars got me. Briars are getting me now. I can get through here. not seeing anything that looks oh you got it there's one right here right here got a headstone look at these plants that were planted beside this Lou is that it's L-O-U-G is that Lou G Jones Born November 9th, 1830. Wow. Died August 31st, 1900. Interesting. And uh, okay, I'm seeing more graves. I see an indention over there. There's a large indention right there. Yeah, there's a lot of graves over here. We've got these flowers that were planted here. We got a brick over there. Robert. Robert, I think you're heading in the wrong direction. Actually, there. I don't know if there's anything in there or not. Hey, Robert. Yo. Did you see the graves over here? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we did, right, Robin? We filmed those. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you where that. Oh, that well. Right, but we were thinking. He's, he's already found them. Okay, so I'm finding more of these graves that the other Roberts already found. This is very interesting. Um, these are handmade bricks uh, marking a tomb right here. Also, it's interesting, if you watch a lot of the videos that I filmed that are in the Harris Talbot County areas, the bricks are a different color down here, which is interesting. But these are still early, what we would consider like plantation era bricks, um, early settlement bricks here. And then we've got another burial right here that they've already found. I understand now why the other Robert wants to come through that thicket and look for more graves because I was not expecting these all the way back here. There's a big old muscadine vine. There's a broken headstone. Hey, did y'all find the headstone that goes with this broken base? Let's see. Let's see if it's under there. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, did we? Can we turn that one over? That's so. This is just the base, uh -huh. and the stone would have been right here. It's just broken, yeah. right there. And so, looking for this broken headstone, and found it. It is hey. buried in the ground right there. So, let's try to unearth it. There it is. There it is. Here it is. You won't do it. No, I'm okay. I like getting my Ooh, it's bigger than hands it is. in the dirt. Yeah, it is. Man, is I can't right believe here. you knew how to dig that out. We walked right by it. Never saw it. <gasps> I see a date. Do yeah. I see a date? You do? I see a five. This is, um, this is old. It sure is. Oh, here it comes. If this is the death date, then it's... It 1850. says PR. April. Oh, April, okay. April 5th, 1853. Wow. Died. That's the death date. Wow. So this is 1853 here. Wow. 1793 birth date. 1793. What's the name? What's the name? Oh, born on July the 4th. Ain't that wow. something? Wow. What's July the name 4th. though? What's the name? Let's see. What, the, what is the name? Here, I got a small pair of clippers. Let's it's get a, this stuff away. All right, so this was Anne. What is that? Lead? No. I think it's one word. Um, Anne. Anne Reed. Anne, Anne Reed. Reed. You're right. Anne. Anne Reed. Anne Reed. I've never heard that name. Anne Reed. Wow. All right, so for the sake of preservation, we're going to try to get this yeah. up a little bit. Okay, let me back up. We're still going to leave it on on the ground laying like this but if we get it up should we can we lean it against the tree or would that be bad i wouldn't lean it how heavy is it oh that's a thick one wow all right so just for the sake of preservation we don't want this to be covered up as it's been for so long but also there's no real way to properly fix this so i am just going to lay it back on the ground there are some rocks around here and bricks but we don't have anything to really set it on as a base um, because we don't want to take any of the bricks from another grave or a rock and this is down so I'm going to lean this right, just like that where it's resting on the top of this stone kind of fill some dirt underneath it and again it's going to get covered back up and again, it's gonna get covered back up. There's no way we can avoid that, but at least this will be seen for a little bit longer. Now, um, I have a question. Yeah. Could you lean it up on the broken part and it'd be higher and then maybe you wouldn't miss it? No, because if we leaned it up on the broken it'll part- It'll make that fault break? Maybe? It'll make it break. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are a lot more fragile than yeah. you think they are. Wow, um, okay. Just a question. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, it's a good question. Um, and it's a good education moment as to um, how not how, to well, well, how <laughs> yeah. fragile these are. Mm -hmm. um, I know somebody that told me that they were trying to fix a grave like this. And, and it was set like this. It was probably leaning over like this. And they moved it a little bit and it snapped just like that. Oh, wow. So these are a lot more fragile than yeah, you think they so are. Yeah, because it's so old. But we'll just mm -hmm. pack some dirt under it. 
and it'll be there for a little bit. Robert. I hear you, Robert. You found anything? I'm getting to you. I'm coming. Did you find some? Uh, no marker stone. I did. I found one you missed. I found some indentions right here. Okay. Wait a minute. How'd you get around the other side already? I just walked around it. What's taking you so long? <laughs> chopping, chopping through all this undergrowth. I see you're headed towards some graves, though. Um, I found. Meet me over here whenever you can, so we can look at this grave. I'll be here by another hour. Metal, aluminum, or metal headstone. All right, I'm coming. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, there's so many more graves out here than I thought when we first came in here. All of these are amazing. That one's an amazing one right there. I wonder how many more are like the one we just saw and not visible through here. There's some of the other Robert's briars, so we ain't going that way. Got all the bulb flowers. I'll be there in a second, y'all. Have you, you've seen all of these, right? Hey, I've already done, hey. How'd y'all get over there so? Uh, <laughs> all right, I just cut through here. And come to the other side. How'd y'all get over so quick? Walked around, took the easy path. Okay, anyway, this is where I left off. But come here, I just cut a path through that thick stuff. Yeah. And all I saw was some indentions. I didn't see any markers. Okay. And y'all went around the other side. Right. Anyway, when I was standing here, I want you to look in between them two logs and tell me what you think that is. Oh, my goodness. Is that what one of those, uh, is it magnesium or what is it? Oh, oh it, it uh, it's almost looks like cast iron from here, but it's not. I think it is white bronze like you're so I'm talking to about. Back. See, it's broken off of this tree fell back probably, what, 15, 20 years ago, this tree fell? Yeah, 1881 on that one. Yeah, I want That's to find amazing. another part. There's another part to it. Yes, there is. So, tell us about them. What, what do you know about these? Well, if this is a white bronze stone, and it's kind of hard to tell, um, tell, I'll be able to tell when I get closer to Watch it. Watch this. Yeah. It's, it can't be, um, if it was marble something would have broke off see how straight yeah it's, it's definitely metal but what um, kind of metal yeah so tell me tell me about the uh headstones so the white bronze headstones are pretty special to find they were uh ordered off of the railroad oftentimes um and they usually still look new when you see them which is why it throws me off a little bit with that one they're still that white color um of course this one is broken broken back this way it should be right here somewhere. yeah Before it should Unless someone made off with it. Or an armadillo. Oh, wow, Robert, there's a grave right there. That's the footstone. That's a footstone for this, for this one. one, yeah. Oh, eight-year-old, 80, oh, wait, nope. Can't eight, be the footstone. No, no. Eight, born 1808, died 1881. Yeah, that's white. That's got to be a white bronze one. But that's a footstone. No, that's a footstone for the one behind you. Look, what do you think? Well, let's see if I can get to it and read the initials on it. Yeah. You do that. I just saw, thought I saw another one under here. Maybe it's on the other side. Right up underneath here if there was one. Yeah, I think there is one under the tree. Could be wrong though. I think I was wrong. Maybe not. Oh, we got something down here. You got it? At rest. Oh yeah. But I don't, do not have the top. All right. Oh, it could be right Let me get in there, Robert. It could be right here. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I heard it. Let me get in there. Here, you take this. I'll right. get in here and look gonna and dig. See yeah, I might have a digging tool maybe in my pocket, but it should, it should be right there if it yeah. fell right over. Is, is that it? it? Yeah, I feel it. Oh my goodness, I feel it. This is great right here. So we found the top. Look how deep it is, Robert. So that's 25 years of or more of oh my soil that's fallen on top of it. Look. Oh my goodness, this Can is you get incredible. It out? Wow, this is a neat time right here. Yeah, that's it. I got it. I got it now, Robert. Oh yeah. Look at this unearthed for the first time in so long. This is incredible right here. You got a brush? Yes, I do. Here, take this for a second. 
the brush, the brush, or the other Robert rag? I'm gonna take the brush this time, but okay. Okay. you know, when you whipped out those other Robert colored gloves on a video, I about died. Sessions. Wait a minute, is that Reverend? Yes, it is. It was, it's dented up. Oh, this is cool. This is amazing right here. Look at the way it's coming back. I'm gonna look go ahead and set Let's this. Let's bring it on out yeah, here. So We're we gonna can, clean it up good. We can take a look at it here. This is incredible. First of all, look at the detail on the top of the stone there, the flowers, the roses. Yeah. So is it uh, magnesium, aluminum, um, bronze? It's, Maybe it's, it's the bent, so it couldn't be bronze, I don't think. Maybe it's the white oh, there's bronze. A, there's a detail on the back? Yeah, there's detail on the back. You it's, know what? That is where it burnt. That's right. There's been a fire here. Someone burned it off and it burned the ground off and metal. melted it. Yep. Oh. Magnesium. It's magnesium then. Oh. Yes. That's why it has those flaws on the front where that right. V is on the Reverend. Look at this. Okay, this is incredible. Look at yeah. this right here. Do you hold see on, the on. you see the fingers yes. holding what is that? We may have to get like a napkin or something. Turn it this way. Turn it this way. Let's get our consulting producer in here to look at that. That's a wheat sheep, isn't it? Could be a hand. See the well, fingers. It's a, it's a hand. Holding. Like a handkerchief. Nope, that's a no, plant. I think no, it's a, a plant. plant. Yes, yeah, a leaf. See? I think okay. it's like a wheat sheaf. A wheat sheaf is a symbol of abundance or bountiful or yep. food. That's there yep. you go. Okay. But okay, look, that's cool. Look. Let me get there. Hold on. We, 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 the sunlight shines on it. Okay. This so. is phenomenal. It is. It is. I honestly, don't think I've ever seen one like this before. It's amazing. It's always incredible to find in metal headstones like this. And again, we can tell the soft metal because it was melted in a fire. Absolutely incredible detail on this thing. Robert, will you flip it back flip it over? Because I want to look yeah. at right. Because it has his name and we'll give him a proper reading right That's now. right. Um, so so it's so, carved on two sides. Yeah. It's not carved, it's cast. Oh. Yeah. It's cast. This is cast. Um, so this oh. is Reverend John J. Sessions. And he was born February 11th, 1808. And he died May 31st, 1881. And again, it says, at rest. This is absolutely this incredible. This weighs a couple of pounds right here. Yeah. So that is look pretty how, darn neat. Look how deep the this is amazing. Yes. casting is. It's cast. It's cast. It's very it is. So, so what you would do is this would be a standard purchase. And then you, when you ordered it, they, they would, would put your name on it. That's right. Put the stencils or whatever you wanted your name and all in there. And they poured it quick because we said it was magnesium. It's, I, I don't know what kind of metal it is, but it's a soft metal. Does a magnet go to it? I didn't no, it, it's not, it wouldn't I be magnetic. Bring my magnet with me, but. So, I, we've never, I've never found one of these. Have you ever found one of these? No, no. not, not that. I found the, the obelisks that were made out of, uh, That's right. or the big, huge, bulky, but this is a flat. Yep. A flat one, usually a bulky. And I've seen cast iron headstones like that, but never yes, a soft metal. Yes, yes, yes. Matter of fact, I can take you to one right now if you want to go. But anyway, we'll do that later. Um, let's put, look at the crack in it. Let's put this back down to rest right down here where it's supposed to be. And we're going to lay it back up like, it will not weather. No. Like marble or granite or anything else. It will not weather. It's been here since 1881. Been through a fire too. So this is, this is a first for us. Absolutely. So that that looks like a footstone, doesn't it? Yes, I would say that's a well, footstone. Right over in here, I don't know if you can see it with your camera. We have to go that's over right. the logs. There is a that's a footstone. Yep, that's the one that we thought was for this one. Yeah, but that'd be too short. This too short for that one. I, this one looks more like you know what? Look at this, Robert. This one looks more like the footstone for for the metal marker. Yeah. This one's a footstone for the metal marker, but I don't understand why that one's there at the same because time. Because this is one. To oh, Robert. What? Is it? Hold this. Oh, there's another. No, that stone goes with this headstone. That's right. See? So, that is a footstone for someone's buried here. That's their headstone. Maybe under the tree? That's their headstone. You think so? I don't it's think gotta so. It's got to be. I think that this is. I think there's something under this wall. No, I don't know. You're right. You're probably, I, I'd, yeah. His yeah, 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 yeah. footstone is back over there somewhere. I, I think you're right. His but footstone is back is there. This tree is only, uh, this tree when it fell 20 years ago, 
40, this thing's 40, 60. This would be 75 years ago this tree was here, or 60 years ago. You're right. And this tree wasn't here when they buried him. Rubbing the little and, bit right there. And, it's, and the fact that it's in a row right here. Look, hey, Robert, I, I think you're right, Robert, because about the footstone being behind that, and this is marking another grave, because if we come over here and look at these graves right here, these are also on what we would consider the back yeah. of the headstone usually yeah. and but yeah. the grave the burial is that way yeah, so i think right. that's buried in the same and there's manner yeah and i've already done i think i've already done these three and earlier are they um on both sides though? nope only on one side on this on these all right yeah. so this is incredible here the cemetery really does keep going um got a huge indention right here obviously this fallen over obelisk big indention right there um, uh, that might be a stump hole though, maybe not a grave. Um, and then continuing out this way, there's more and more. This is a brick tomb with concrete on top. Usually these don't have any kind of inscription on them. Yeah, this does not have any kind of inscription on it. It's just a kind of a concrete cap. For this brick lots more over here i think other uh, robert has already filmed those so if you haven't seen that video you need to go back and watch his first visits here and i'd say we're kind of coming to the end because you can see where the cemetery's terraced off over there and of course we've got farmers fields behind it what do you see broken broken stones there and there yeah and i've got the brush i don't remember if i read this one or not I this here. is M A Yarbro. On this side, it's, oh, that's right. This one was wanting to fall over. That's why I stopped at this one. So it's got stuff on both sides. Yeah. Interesting. Let me see if we can read it. Mariah B. Satterwhite. Born July 12th, 1846, died January 6th, 1876, and William R. Yarbrough, November 6th, 1829 to September 26th, 1894. But then we've got something on the back side here, which says M.A. Yarbrough, January 23rd, 1837. So do we have three Yarboroughs buried here? That's what it looks like. Yeah. So did we, did they bury a family? Buried them all together. Let's see if there's, they, they could be here because these are, are no markings. This one says Yarbrough. No, this is, what was the first name on that? Is Satterwhite, what was her name? Uh, yes, yeah, Satterwhite. What's her first name? Maria B. Yeah, this is her right here. MBS on this footstone. Huh. That's her. That's another one right there. And then there's that one there. So there, there's yeah. there's a burial there, there, and there that's denoted but then you're walking on, on this. Them too. Yeah. These bricks. yeah, those aren't to do with this one though. So look at this over here. It's a big one right here. Mm -hmm. you one. Tell me if you think this, this is the base. Do you think that's what was on top of it? Yeah, that's the obelisk that goes on top of that base right there. Well, think we can cut it out? Yeah, let's, we can get to it. We can get to it. Let me set the camera down. Are you game? I'm always game. Okay. Let's cut this back a little bit and get this dead stuff off. Okay. Hold on, let me get in there. Why are you doing all the hard work? Normally I do the hard work. Oh, I'm being nice, I guess. I tell you Watch what out for the camera, Ron. Yeah. Oh, Watch oh. out for any snakes coming out. Oh, I hope there's some snakes. We've been wanting some snakes, haven't we? Mm -mm. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, all right. Cut this. Cut that. And if we twist that, it'll come off. Well, not quite. I'll show you how to do it. Watch out. All right. You do it. Remember what Grandpa always said? Let the other one do it. it. <laughs> right. Hold this. If you want it done right, you get 
Look at that, Robert can do it. Look at that. See? Oh, that's cool. That's cool up there, isn't it? Oh, look, this is the face side. We don't have to roll it over, buddy. All we need to do is bring the camera. All right, bring the camera. It's L.M. Leonard, born December 27th, 1828, died March the 7th, 1912. Mrs. L.M. Leonard, wife of L.M. Leonard, yeah. Uh, died November 21st, 1889, age 59 years. Interesting. Um, this is great. Look at how well the engraving is done on this. Yeah, it is. 1828, this was all, this wasn't settled yet, I don't think, or just starting yeah. to settle. He was just and starting to settle. More than likely, he was from somewhere else, either East Georgia, and he came here. I'd like to know something about the uh, Leonard family. Yeah. And... And uh, I'd, I don't know what years we found. You know what? I got to go back and look and see. Well, I'd be interested to know what the newest burial is, you know, so, when it looks like they stopped. I talked to a local historian about two weeks ago, and she told me, and she's 60 years old, and she told me that her daddy said this was an old grown up cemetery. So that would be 50, 60 years ago. So I, I have not seen anything. I haven't seen anything new, as new as in the last 20, 30 years. So I think it's been sitting empty for 50, 60 years or more. Yeah, uh, that's 1912 on that. I think 1912 is about the newest that I've seen. Yeah, yeah. So is this a footstone or a headstone to one of these people here? It's a M R Mrs. L M. Yeah, that's... I can't... That's, that's M L M L. That's, so that's her. That's her. And this is probably him right here. Right there. Under the I obelisk. See one over there to the far right. You see that one right there? There's one right there, and then there's one back. See the family plot for this family. This is S M L. S M L. So this, all these trees have fallen over the last so many years and knocked them all down. Yeah. And that is a well-preserved one too. Yes, it is. Sitting right there. And didn't we say we were going to set it up? Ah, not today. No, that, I mean, we <laughs> ain't getting today. that one. Way too heavy. <laughs> you know, we have uh, actually leveled and repaired one of these. Dan and I did. In, was it Waverly Hall? Waverly Hall, old bird grave. With the homemade... Uh, yeah. Uh, rigging thing they'll have. That's right. Which I said wouldn't work because it was two by fours, right? Yeah. And it worked just like just that. Fine. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing. Look at these broken. That's worn very badly. Nothing on that side. And you can see it was almost had like a plaster on the front here that's completely worn off. Another broken one there. The Another one there. Right, now that's a, that's an invention. Yep. So here's a marker stone. Yep. There's a uh, either a deer skull or a dog or. That's a deer. I think. Yeah. Now where is the where's the rest of these? Oh look at this here. Poured concrete. Yeah. And then they put a, a finer. Uh, finish type plaster or that's right a finer concrete finishing concrete around it and it does have a little right no it doesn't either that's where some bugs got a hold of something and i don't see the rest of the stone here several feet of the soil i don't know what do you think mounds of dirt well i will say that the way that this is cut off i think that this is still considered the cemetery boundary because uh, it looks like nobody has done anything with this in a long time um, but as far as any more burials out here i don't know we'll have to look and see we're on a game trail right now you see it going through here deer have been walking through here and then it ends back there at a field but if there were any more burials back here 
they would be in this area but i don't see anything so i'm going to walk back this way and see what we can find do you see i think this is the boundary of the cemetery right here where this big old tree is Okay, I don't see anything through here. Someone had a wild boar. It's wild boar skull. And then someone had a, this is a killing field right here. It's full of bones so that means it's time for me to go the other way how many graves do you think are in here well if i do my math right one two three four five six seven seven eight nine no no i gotta pull the shoe off you're counting, you're counting the wrong way. You're counting the wrong way. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 rows that way. And then this way is 1, 2. No, no that's not, that ain't right. You, first of all, we got graves from here. I saw graves clear down there. I'm saying there's there's got to be like 300 graves out here. You pull your shoes off and we'll keep counting. I ain't pulling my shoes off for nobody. But you can't be adding, you gotta multiply. You know, every marked grave you see, you gotta multiply it by three. That'll cover the unmarked graves and give you an accurate estimate. You, you don't have enough fingers for this. 